just put that one in there. Cut. Fire away. Jalen, can you just talk about the emotions of this game? Um, obviously, you know, you hit the big three near the end and, um, you know, the, the last three free throws. Um, just kind of what you thought. Oh, yeah, the intensity was crazy. I mean, we didn't have 16,000, but it felt like, you know, everybody was there. And the energy we had coming into the game was just, you know, to lock in. You know, it's the number, a top 10 team coming into our house. And, you know, we can't lose here. So we got to represent everybody in the city. So we came with a lot of emotion, a lot of energy, and, you know, turn out with the win. Jalen, could you just, uh, I guess, walk us through that last foul there and then, I guess, your reaction to that, like, last missed free throw at the end of the game? Uh, yeah, so I really – I wasn't supposed to foul him, obviously, but I was trying to, you know, pressure him up because he's, he's been hitting the whole game. And I feel like I kind of hit him a little bit, but he kicked his feet out to me. But, you know, he uh, fortunately didn't hit all, all of his free throws when we won the game. So that's, that's really it. How were you able to get so open on that go-ahead three? I was only open because Dave rolled to the basket so hard. You know, he forced help, and I was able to, you know, knock the shot down. So if it wasn't for that hard roll by Dave, then I wouldn't have had that shot so open. I think, Go ahead. I think Ochai said the other day that there was a point after your injury last year where you told the team, like, I'll get you guys back. Um, I, I'll, I'll be back. Um, do you remember that conversation, or what did you tell the team after that, and how, how big of a motivator was that? Well, I was always motivated myself to, you know, be back to get to the team. You know, being hurt last year with such a great team we had last year, I was – they motivated me every day to get better as I tried to motivate them as much as I could from, you know, practice and on the sideline of games last year. So, you know, I just try to let everybody know that I'm going to work hard just like they did the whole year. You know, even though our season was ended last year, we have a chance this year. So, I'm going to give everything I have. Jalen, on that that last offensive play on the on the shot you hit, kind of – what are you thinking as, as that play is unfolding? And, and has Coach Self told anything to you guys about how they, they were hard hedging those screens? Um, you know, I thought Bryce making that pass to David was, was big, and then also David seeing you. Kind of what are you thinking as, as you're watching it unfold from the other side? Uh, well, I knew once the ball screen was, uh, took place on the other side of the court that I was going to, you know, be open if they if Dave roll hard and they try to bump him. So uh, I was able to get that pass once Dave was a uh, hell of a pass by Dave being in control out of the paint. So I knew that I was going to be open because they weren't going to let him just get a layup for game. And I just made the shot. Jaylen, what is it about you that, that allows you to, to, to be kind of so calm in these, these big situations? I think we, we forget you're, you're just a freshman. Uh, I just have a lot of confidence in myself. My team has a lot of confidence in me as we all give each other. So uh, coming out of the huddle, we all, you know, told each other, told each other that we're going to end this game. We're going to win this game. So I feel like if anybody was in that position, we would all have the confidence due to, you know, how, what we do for each other. Hey, Jalen, uh, Coach has talked a lot about how you guys didn't really prepare before Gonzaga for a lot of five-guard looks, and, and you've been kind of figuring it out on the fly. How, how hard is that to do, and, and, and how valuable will a couple of days off and, and maybe some practices coming up be? Uh, with the five guards, I mean, I think we're just able to adjust to anything. You know, uh, Dave has done a great job of having a great attitude no matter what's going on during the game, whether he's in or out, you know, with five guards. So. I think it's something that we've we've done well in, and I guess these next next couple of days will be really good to you know get our bodies recovered for the next game coming up. Uh, we start league soon, so you know really got to really focus up. When when you think about actually having practice time to work on on these lineups, these smaller lineups, where does your mind go? I mean, it, it seems like you guys can only fine tune what you've already started, and and maybe how high is that ceiling? Uh, I mean, as high as it can be. I mean, we practice lineups, different lineups every single day in practice. So I think we're really prepared for any situation in the game. Uh, not every night will be some guy's night. So we all have to step up to the plate and with different lineups and just work with each other. You know, we all have that good chemistry. So I feel like we're able to adapt to whatever we need to. Got time for one more. Hey, Jalen. Bryce was able to stay on the floor a lot during uh, the crunch time moments. Uh, what do you think he did well to earn those extra moments? extra minutes on the floor? I'd say the most obvious answer is his energy. Uh, his presence on the court is just everyone can see how hard he's working, how hard he's playing. Uh, he hits some huge shots for us. And in the defensive end, he's, his intensity is crazy. He's getting huge rebounds, blocking shots, defending his man. So I think he came into the game and gave us everything that we needed to win that game. All right, thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Jalen.